Hi, my name is Steve Babaiko. I'm the CEO of Extreme Group. Extreme Group is made up of a couple of companies, advertising agency, Extreme Ideas. We have Media 100, a media buying company. We have Zero Degrees, a production company. We have Extreme Music, a record label business, and quite a couple of other companies. Actually started my uh, career as a copywriter. Copywriter is the guy or lady that comes up with the conceptual ideas for advertising. So you see slogans, Nike, just do it. A copywriter came up with those lines. Uh, Glow, unlimited. A copywriter came up with those kind of lines, you know. And either you're writing for print, which is the newspaper ads, or you're writing for radio, or you're writing a TV script, there's always this copywriter in the center of that whole mix. People ask me, what does it take to become a copywriter? I, I get that kind of question a lot. But funny enough, copywriting does not necessarily involve writing at all. At the center of copywriting is conceptualization. Can you come up with an idea that can help us pass a brand message? You know, that's the power of a copywriter. The basic skills is just imagination, like I say, you don't even need to draw. Like me, as a copywriter, I actually think in pictures. If I, if I can get a visual metaphor in my head, I can write to it. The best copywriters in this country will probably find them in the hip-hop community, in the, the rappers. There are a lot of copywriters that miss their calling who are rappers in Nigeria. You know, and you struggle with rap music, which is unfortunately is not as popular as it should be in Nigeria. You know, not knowing that you can actually diversify and become a writer because I become a copywriter because some of the visual metaphors, some of the the lyrics in, in rap music is they're very powerful. You can they can paint picture with words in such powerful ways that sometimes I tend to recruit higher copywriters from the rap community. If I flash back to 1995 when I finally made up my mind to become a copywriter, I did a lot of research. What does copywriting entail? Breaking it down for the, the books broke it down for me. And then I found out that beyond just imagination is constant practice. So what I did then was I started giving myself imaginary brief. I would create a fictitious brand, a bank brand, and I would give him, and I'll give myself assignment, come up with ideas that we can use to launch this brand bank brand. I did a lot of those things. So it is constant practice that helps you polish your script. And your, your, your craft to the point where you can now say, oh, I am a good copywriter. Most copywriters get carried away. They think it's just about writing English. No, it's about seeing how do you move this brand, especially on the brief. If, say, uh, Access Bank, they want to launch uh, Access Marathon, what do we want to do? How do you even introduce the fact that there's going to be a marathon? Uh, do you come in with a teaser idea that will just teach people to make them more curious about what's going to happen there and at the pre-event, the event itself and the post-event, how do you write stuff and push ideas that will push every element of that activity to a logical conclusion. So the entire creative process actually depends on him at the, at the, at the center. You know, he, he creates the vision of what the advertising is going to say, whether it's on print or billboard or radio or TV commercial, then he comes up with the, with the words, anything that you see that has to do with words or slogan or payoff line, he's in charge of all of those, you know, and uh, making sure that the, the vision also remains faithful to the end, even when production is done, he's still part of that. So uh, uh, the copywriter is a guy who is just in the whole mix of the entire creative chain, works with an art director, works with a production person to bring the vision to life and ensures that the vision remains as faithful as it was when it was conceptualized. Yeah. There are some agencies that will not train you well enough and that's a big challenge because for a copywriter, I always say copywriters are not magician. You can't give what you don't have. A copywriter ideally should just consume a lot of information because today they might say write about a diaper for babies. Tomorrow it could be an auto parts. The day after it could be for a small part in, an, in a space engine. 
So if you really don't know about all of these things, you can't write about what you don't know. So the challenge is training and exposure because the media platforms on which we showcase copy-driven uh, art forms these days is changing as well. Before it used to be, oh, if you did not study marketing communication, you can't even be a copywriter. I say, that doesn't work for me. I want to work with engineers now because now you're, you're doing creativity within a very digital structure. So how are you using technology to drive all of the creative stuff that we're doing? So I prefer to hire people who have that science and tech background. You know, and that's, those are the copywriters of the future, to be honest. So even if you studied art, you will be comfortable within tech world because these days we are gradually moving our, 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 our clients to engage with, with the audience. It used to be just one screen before your television screen. Now you have about four or five screens to deal with. The mobile screen, the television screen, the game console screen, all kinds of screens. So a copywriter must be in such a position mentally to say, how can I redirect my message to still be able to engage with the consumers? Money is always going to be very important, you know, but I think, especially at the beginning, to be a copywriter, you need to make the sacrifice of actually honing your skills. You know, because I, I know the value perception in Nigeria has shifted over the years where we are all more focused on, oh, how much do I make? When I started my career until now, if we work on a new campaign, just seeing it out there gives me a measure, immeasurable satisfaction. Just to see, I still am happy to see our work go on radio, see it on TV. But if you start, because you, you want to make money, you make money when you become an expert in a certain field where you are able to create values. There are so many people who think they are copywriters today who I know are not even anywhere near good at what they do. So for this exercise, I will not put so much emphasis on money. I know copywriting will pay you enough money to earn a decent living. That's how I started. And if I'm still here, there's something to be said for that profession. I wasn't so hungry on money. On I just wanted to be good at what I did Eventually, I became a master of my craft and I can earn as much money as I want today. So I think young people will benefit from that kind of mindset. Well, folks, that's it for this week. Make it a date with us next week. Same station, same time. It doesn't end.